Thank you. Thank you very much. song with Colin Linden and uh, I wrote this again after living in uh, Cape Breton for those couple years. Uh, coal mining was a big part of the life there for a long time. It's a, it's a job I have a lot of respect for. I so wrote this one, Coal Mining Blues. I spend all my days going down to the mine. Where the sun never shines Breaking my back I'll put heat in your house I've got the roar of a lion The breath of a mouse Black on my head Black on my shoes Black on my heart From these coal mining blues The man in the mirror Looks nothing like me He's just a weary reminder of what I used to be The sunken red eyes And the lines in my face A tired old man Has taken my place Black on my head Black on my shoes Black on my heart From these cold Welcome to the Stop Show. I'm your host, DJ Blues. This week we have a special guest, Matt Anderson. He's got a CD called Coal Mining Blues. It's his eighth CD on the market and he's you know, building a good following and his career is going sky high. 
We're fortunate enough to, to record his show at the Emmanuel United Church in Cowansville. As you will see, Matt Anderson has a great stage presence to go along with his booming voice and great guitar playing. We'd like to thank Sur la Seine d'Avignon, the organization that produced this show. And we hope to capture down the road more shows from this quaint little venue in Cowansville. Now I'd like to present the interview I had with Matt Anderson before the show. Now this gentleman, he, you know, he's a big presence on stage, but boy, he's a dynamic gentleman, cool dude to get to know. You're going to enjoy it. We're going to get into the interview right now. Matt Anderson on the DJ Blue Show. Hello, Matt Anderson. Hi, how you doing? A pleasure to have, uh, have you on the show, the Thank Stop you. Show. Thanks for taking the time. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? You know, the people really don't know you in this area. Well, I'm I from uh, Perth, Andover, New Brunswick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 32, I think, yeah, 32 years old. <laughs> last time you checked, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, I've been playing music full-time for the last um, uh, 10 years or so now. Yeah, mm. yeah, been on the road pretty steady. And, yeah, I grew up in a small town. Yeah. Yeah, lots of music growing up. And, you know, pretty close family, lots of, you know, music was a big part of the community. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of big families out there. I mean, you got brothers and sisters. Yeah, brothers and sisters, lots of cousins. You know, every time the family got together, it was always music. Isn't that great, eh? Absolutely. Well, how about this? Uh, is this your first tour out towards this Quebec area, or have you been in Quebec before? Uh, I've done Montreal before in Quebec City. I've done Montreal Blanc, but um, yeah, you did the blues fest. Yeah, I and I've done. Uh, I played the guitar fest in Rayan Duranda, but this is my first time actually doing lots of these smaller communities and lots okay, of these smaller okay. towns. Yeah, I enjoy it. You like? Uh, yeah, it's really great. It's nice to see some more of the country this time. Yeah, it is a nice part of that neck of the woods. Absolutely. For sure. yeah. How did you get hooked on the blues? You know, I know that's part of your influence. Yeah. Of playing. Um, just the first time I heard it live really was a big thing for me. I heard it at uh, when I was going to school in London, Ontario, some blues clubs, and I was probably 17, and I looked older than I was, so I managed to get in, and uh, that's the first time I heard it live. Then, like a lot of people, I think, you know, I heard B.B. King first, and Eric Clapton, the mainstream guys, and then uh, started looking at their influences. I got more back into, you know, um, all the Chicago blues and the Delta blues stuff. And oh, yeah, nice So the more stuff. I started digging around, the more I got into it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever try, were you playing with a, you were playing with a band before, eh? like a three or four piece, and then you yeah. decided to go solo? Yeah, I've done it? band stuff. I've yeah. done so, the solo stuff more comfortable with, and uh, yeah. it's yeah. a lot easier on the wallet, too. But, hey, good <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I love doing all that kind of stuff. I mean, I love, it's really fun doing, doing the, the band stuff, too. I mean, so oh, it's great. I do a few band gigs a year to kind of get that, scratch that itch. Hey, that's great, eh? I know your latest CD, uh, Coal Mining Blues, yeah. was co-produced by uh, Colin Linden, right? Yeah, Colin produced that, yeah. You've done a lot of work with uh, Colin James, I know mm -hmm. that much, and yeah. other artists. Uh, did you like working with him? Yeah, Colin was great. Oh, he's a pro. Really positive and um, you know, great to do some writing with and um, really knows his stuff. And He did exactly what I wanted to do on that album. Oh, so yeah, okay. Yeah, like, you, did you co-produce with him, or you, you have a lot of input in it? or? Is he, um, well, I mean, I guess he has the title producer, I guess. Yeah, but, okay. Um, yeah, he was totally title. open to ideas. You know, we talked about a lot of stuff before. And yeah, you know, he was really great. You know, when you had an idea, we'd definitely, you know, hash it out. And if we, if we liked it better wow. that way, we'd go that way. So, if you got an artist you might want to do a CD with, you know, if you had to say, hey, I'd like to choose this person to, to uh, record another CD, I'd love to work with Derek Trucks, would be great. I saw him at the Spectrum a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, slide guitar is the number one in the world. Can yeah. we say this? Yeah, he's a good choice. <laughs> uh, in New Brunswick, is there is that becoming a little hotbed of blues? The whole East Coast, I mean, there's um. The Harvest Jazz Blues Festival, I think, is a big, oh, yeah. a big supporter of that. You know, local music for sure, and there's some great players out of uh, Nova Scotia Good as well. Good stuff, you know, eh? You know, Dutch is from there, Dutch Mason, and uh, Matt Minglewood, and uh, John Campbell, John. You know, some really great players. Seen them, but more Trump. You know, yeah, and then yeah. some, some of the, up, the the new generation too, like Ross Nielsen and Keith Hallett and Garrett Mason are all coming out. Like, yeah, that's the son, eh? Garrett, yeah, Garrett yeah. And Mason, of course. Yeah, you say glamour push, like a lot of those guys. They're exactly. All, um, Where do you see yourself in about a year down the road? Still touring, I would think. Yeah, but, uh, absolutely. You know, still you're... touring. Yeah, we're gonna be playing a lot. So we'll have a new album out by then. So we'll be. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Also playing some new territories. I head to Australia more often now, in the UK, and, and headed to Europe Oh, more, so. nice. Yeah. yeah, that's good, eh? So you're making a livelihood okay? And yeah. You're enjoying it. I know yeah. you enjoyed the road, eh? For Absolutely. Sure. Uh, you know, you meet a lot of interesting people. I take it in your travels uh, across the country and across the world. If you got a little anecdote you can let us know that's not uh, not, not triple X or what? Oh, yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. Not a whole lot of triple X on the no, road no. in my life. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess one of those six stuff for the most, I was playing uh, Remembrance State, an Air Force base in Trenton, Ontario. And uh, the night was rolling on, probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, they called, had a bomb threat called in. 
So the whole place cleared out. Everybody's outside, and it turns out it was a guy's uh, a guy's wife wanted him home, so she called him a bomb threat. So, yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy mackerel! I've been checking out, you know, your YouTube, the site there. We, you know, we click in your name, and we see songs with a lot of hits happening there. Has that really improved uh, or helped out your bookings and stuff? Um, yeah, YouTube is kind of a double-edged sword. I think in one way, I think it's a horrible way for people to see music. You know, it's a tiny little version of you on a screen with bad speakers and usually really bad camera okay, work. Okay, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, at the same time, it's a way for people to see you before they see you. You know, it's it's really great that it's people true. get we to can check um, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, I do it too when I go to festivals. I see who's playing. I look on their YouTube links. You know, to kind of check them out, and get a vibe for what it's about and um, it's been great for that so I have a lot of people that come to show and say yeah I saw you on YouTube so I wanted to come right. see the show so, uh, yeah. that's, you should have a good crowd tonight and I wish you all the best oh, I thank much. you for being on the show yes, Matt Anderson ladies thank and gentlemen much.
Come by soon, come by morning, come by noon Come by evening, stay till dawn Well, I'll make all right what has been wrong Come by walking, come by plane Come by sail, baby, come by train Come by running, hold to me It'll be just fine, you wait and see Thank Singfield Piano for producing the Stop Show and our following sponsors. Now, if you want to become a sponsor, you can contact David Anderson at the number on the bottom of the screen. Je m'appelle Nouri Wissandji, je suis le propriétaire de Photo Minute au Galerie de Granby. Je suis un fier commanditaire de l'émission Stop. so so much for having me here tonight this has been a real treat I hope you had a good time if you didn't don't tell anybody and I'm gonna finish off with this this song I wrote this one with a good friend of mine Mike Stevens and this one's all about a guy who's in a relationship with a woman that he uh, doesn't want to be in a relationship with so. <laughs> but no matter how hard he tries he can't get away from her and uh, he ends up coming to the conclusion and the realization that the only person she's actually fit for is the devil. So. A little bit of romance to finish off with. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. 
warm you You should be the devil's bride You should be the devil's bride You should be the devil's bride You should be the devil's Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing uh, the DJ Blue Show. Stay tuned for some great other shows down the road. And we'd like to also thank the Emmanuel United Church for giving us permission to record there. I know we'll be back. Hey, baby, this is DJ Blue saying, live, love, and laugh, baby. Ooh.